Why do you want to become a school teacher in an undeserved community? Hi, my name is Susana Guerrero. Um, I want to be a school teacher in an undeserved community uh, exactly because of that, because it's a community that is not receiving the best materials and the best teaching services, um, the best education that it can. Uh, my goal is to use what I kind of have an advantage, and that would be uh, living here in this community for over 22 years. Living in this community has taught me the things that I, things that I know my students may go through. For example, um, many of these families are either below poverty or from low to very low middle um, income families, where maybe they're single parents, single mother, single father, and or the parents are uh, forced to have two two jobs where maybe a child is a key latch child where he or she have to has to go home and has no one at home and has to help uh, his or her siblings and as well as house chores as well as homework assignments um, i know what these families will be going through and i think i would use it as an advantage because that will help me establish some trust and a relationship with my with my students next question please okay uh, what life experiences and skills do you possess that would enable you to connect with your students and inspire them to learn? Uh, one being, ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to be a teacher. Um, I've always been a babysitter. I've always had kids around me. Kids, children, students are, are what I do. Um, everyone, everyone says, oh, I can see you as a teacher. One time I mentioned, I said, well, maybe I can be a cop. They said, no, I can't see you as doing that. And I think they're right. It's kind of nature to me to be with these students. Um, I have the, I do have the love, but more than that, I have the passion and dedication. And I, I think some teachers do have the dedication, but they, they do not, they're lacking that love and that passion. And I think that without those two things, they're unable to succeed. I am able to establish that trust with these parents. Um, and with that trust in these parents, I know that I am able to, I will be able to have a good relationship between staff, between other teachers, between family, between students. With that, with a well-established relationship, I feel that we'll be able to focus on the on what's most important here. Aside from the student safety, it'd be to give these students the best education ever. And I think working together in these under, under you know, these schools where we don't, might not have the best materials, not the best technology, we'll be able to work together, whether it is by doing some fundraising or grants and getting the material that these students need, because we do know that sooner or later, they're going to have to go to that world and compete with other students, other students that have maybe been to more privileged schools. And in the end, we want both the safety and the best for these students. And I feel that having a good relationship with these parents, being open-minded, um, open to growth, to learn, having a good relationship with other staff members as well, will be able to succeed um, in our main goal. And that is to improve and give these students what they deserve because they deserve the best education ever. And after all, like they all say, they are the future. Thank you.